Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And off camera here, I decided, you know, I wasn't going to change the look on much on these cars. I did add all the maxed out canards and spoilers and stuff and, and you know, the racing interior kind of things just to make them race car -y and put all the carbon on them like they would have done in the old days because I still don't know. This carbon actually helped to change the way of the car. I don't think it does much, but some people believe it does. The fine tuning of things, it's 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 an interesting thing. But we're gonna we're gonna walk across here some other future projects. And we're gonna consider the Panto. This is it's definitely not one of those race cars. I I, I have not taken those up till the I don't really well, intend to. It's I think they'll do fine. I have them for as much for historic value as anything else. The uh, the, the, the Jester race car and the Masako race car. Carbon fenders. Sticker bomb fenders. Well, I guess... Do we want to go, like, sticker bomby on all this? That seems just so trite, really, Life you know? Hard when you can have anything. No, I'm not going to go with any of that. We're going to go... We'll see what kind of two-tone we can do on this. Front bumpers. Extreme Aero front bumper. It takes the plate off the front, so I guess that's a good thing. Body work to match the driver. Rear bumpers. I'll leave those stock. There's no extreme aero butt. Shakotan! Side mounted carbon can. I think Shakotan. That's some powerful machinery. Bull bars? What the. Enforcer push bar? Well, the Enforcer push bar almost makes you wish we could like, put the O1 on the side and turn this into a General Lee. Just to be funny. But, then we have to lose the two-tone. I guess we're not going to do that. But we'll have the... But does it make sense to have extreme arrow and a push bar? I don't think it does. Okay, we're not going to do that. Lights, neon kit, front back sides, and this... This probably would come with the Xenons, and we'll come back for color later. I don't know how we're, we're going to paint this. I'm even going to skip that. Roll cage? Yes, we'll have it be an absolute roll cage racing kind of... The roof. Carbon roof. Carbon roof and tailgate. Skirts? Of course! Looks almost as good as you. Drift wing. Roof rack. You can have a roof rack as a spoiler. Roof rack of crap. Which would be the traditional, I think. I'm going color coded. You've got an stuff. Suspension, slam it in the weeds, because why not? Right. Hope they're tuned like you want them. Transmission. Race. Turbo, obviously this thing needs a turbo. Wheels, wheel type. I'm gonna go off-road, stock rims, rugged snowflake, I think. Or do we want oh no, the concave rally masters? Really, do they not work on everything? They just do. Tires. And again, the color I'm not sure. Do we want to leave this as it is? Windows, are, we've, we've kind of now held it down to... We have to pick colors. There's no livery. This is too old a car, and I don't believe it's available anymore again. Metallic. We could totally go red and yellow like that play school car that you can, the kids uh, have. Man, I'm sure that's been done. No 
Yeah, <laughs> the whole thing surf blue. I'm not gonna do the run kind of thing here. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permit. What else goes with surf blue? You can do the whole thing white and make it an egg. Is that a euphemism? It is a very eggy kind of car, isn't it? So we can make this an Easter egg special. Go like lime green and pink. Making decisions is stressful. Or we could actually go for a reasonable build. I don't know. You know what? go with something like this. Like, just subdued, and then leave the surf blue, because the surf blue kind of works. Girl is looking good. And then we back it down. Secondary color, we're leaving. Wheels, wheel color, carbon black. Tires, and they are bulletproof, okay. Uh, lights. Neon kits, neon color. Wrong blue. Wrong, right, wrong, blue, green, wrong, green, wrong, I think we gotta leave that white. Exit. It's self-important. It thinks it's a racer. It's not a silly little egg car. It's not, you know, a child's play thing. This is a racing car with a long history as a class of racing in GTA. Panto racing is its own thing. And of course, the only question that matters right now. Can it go up Mount Chiliad? This will probably get repainted, to be perfectly honest. I can't get another one, so anytime I want to do something, it's got to be with this one. Uh, I don't think I have one on my other character either. Shouldn't take too long to go through all the compacts. There just aren't that many. There you go. It's a little bland. It's serious. Uh, maybe I should have put the uh, the power bumper on it, but it's it's a serious race car. Don't you feel the seriousness? This is this is serious. We're very serious right now. I 
Okay, so we're definitely not beating the trim. Where is that? There's that little that side kick that I like to use. It kicks it kind of to the side, but it does get you in the low part of the grass so you actually make it. Can we put this on the train? No, we're not going to get that. Right. We're not fast enough. It's a bit wobbly. It might be small enough to get by at some point. Almost! We made it across. Definitely didn't make it in front of the train, though. Teeny Tandy Car versus the train. Oh dear. Teeny Car, Teeny Tandy car versus the bushes didn't end well. Okay. And the little sign thingy. It is twitchy, but it's quick. Okay, I think now. We're almost gonna make it! We're not gonna make it. No, 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 oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, no! No, 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 no! How did... What the... Um... Did it, did it die? Is that why I jumped, jumped out? Is this car dead? I, I know this isn't G Fred standard, but I gotta know. I got to know if this is alive. I missed. Okay, how do we do this now? How do we get back to where we gotta be? Is it actually easier just to respawn? I think it probably is. That's probably the worst whooping by the train I've had in a while. But it was almost epic. We almost passed it on the bridge. I hear another train. It was almost epic. Uh, we asked the other train in the other direction. Maybe I should be asking myself, why so serious with this? Why do you just go with black and surf blue? I mean, it's Everything else was so obvious. I didn't even want to do my standard orange and blue, you know? Which may end up that way eventually. It almost fits in between the rails, but not quite. Okay, normally that would be bumping the tree, but we're so small. Oh my goodness, it just turned itself around. I did not do that. That was just pushing forward on the gas. Pushing down on the gas, aiming it uphill. Oh man, those bushes just turn it. Will the Shokotan exhaust give us some downforce? Would that be a good thing? Would that take force off the front wheels? If I look to the side on this one, I think it's over. It kind of steered itself between the bushes there. That was neat. Oh, I don't know. Oh my goodness. It's 
still, we got up high enough that it's recoverable. You have to be kind of ginger with this because it is really twitchy. And like you're just one errant steering maneuver from, or one bump of a bush from being yeeted off the cliff in spectacular fashion. Oh, come now, Ponto. We've come this far. Traction and momentum, and hey, did it with a plum. The plum bob. Okay, where is that? All right, Anto, secret chili eyed hero. This could go very badly wrong. Fucking bowling ball wrong. We're getting into the bowling ball part. Oh, we're not getting across. We're going completely down the wrong way. Now, now. Uh, 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 uh. It could just. Oh dear. I can't even see. Is this rear wheel drive? I did not know that. We are we are jammed here, folks. I don't even know if I can get out of this car. Let's just have to do it again. Chili disaster. We're now we're going the wrong way. Chili disaster. That's what you gotta do. Chili disaster. Just keep on driving. Stop singing and try not to be a bowling ball. Further this whoa, that's not what we wanted necessarily. Alright, so we're on the right side of the hill. That took a little bit of it's spinning the wrong way though. It's like it's pulling. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Up and over. We got Moby there. Up and over. Panto cannonball. <clears throat> that that's gonna leave a mark. Now that's a yeet I've never done. If it got caught in the tree, that would be hilarious. But I didn't. And we're in better shape now if we just get hit by the train. That would be even more hilarious. So we're gonna avoid that kind of jocularity. Can you fit? Yes, you can. It's a little car. It's all marked up. And it blew up. It was drowned once and it got stuck once. But it did not explode, so that's good. And now, anytime a car doesn't make it up Mount Chiliad, we say, well, gee, even the Panto can make it up Mount Chiliad. This car can't? Oh. Panto, underrated little compact. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's rear wheel drive. I did not expect that. Is it rear engine? It might be. We'll have to look after. After the race. You can't say, it doesn't, maybe it's because it's so small, but it doesn't feel like a slow car. I know it's not even the fastest compact, but, oh dear, that's just, we're down in the gully. Not the best way to go about this. Well, we're not going to get a chance to try the jump, I tell you that much right now. We're going to need to jump here. Full heat! All right, that was that was spectacular enough. I don't know. Maybe I should have left it with the plain blue, match the wheels up. That would have been just, just a stock blue and surf blue. You know, it doesn't look bad, though. I'm a wiener. Like it. Free mode. Maybe at some point we'll repaint it in a different way or there'll be something interesting or new that we can think to do with this thing. But I don't believe... Let's see, where's the motor? Oh, it's fuel there. And... Okay, so you can't see the motor. There you go, folks. Can't even see it. Can't even work on it. It's just too crampy do. Yeah, on that note, folks. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night. He's a bouncer.